Hi there, Greg Sarn, or rendering specialist at Autodesk. And we're going to cover how to render this scene using the Toon Shader. And we're going to cover the base tone map hue saturation to get something like this, and the specular tone map hue saturation to get something like this. Okay, so I've got the scene here. It's being lit with two directional lights here, which we're going to use for the stylized highlights of the Toon Shader. Also got a Skydome light with a physical sky and increase the exposure. I've got a visibility set to zero for that, and then another skydome just for a white background for the camera. So I'm going to start off a render in the viewport. And create a toon shader for the skin. You know the skin. And assign that to the head. Okay, so I've got the filter set to contour to give us the two edges. It goes in by default, so we need to make sure that's set to contour. And I've also increased the filter width to give us a nice thick uh, silhouette edge. Uh, okay, so I'm going to start off by changing the base color and also the edge detection. I'm going to reduce this quite low to give us more two edges and change it to normal. And then we want to lower the opacity, something like 0.5, and the scaling to 0.3 just gives us some nice thin edges here. And then I'm just going to increase the specular uh, weight to 0.2. And then for the stylized highlight, I'm going to copy the shape name of the directional lights and paste them into the stylized highlight of the lights here. So that's one and two. Let's put a bit of space in between the names here. You see the, the edge there. So I'll put that to zero. See the effect that's having there on the edge. Start this like that. We need to go to the base tone map and add an OSL shader here. So we want the out value to uh, base tone map, and then we need to copy the half tone OSL shader code. So go to the Arnold uh, documentation, type in OSL, take you to the OSL page. There's a link here to the OSL shaders. Take it to the GitHub under the 3ds Max shipping shaders. Go to half tone, and just copy the contents. Go back to Maya, just paste that in there. Make sure you compile it. Now we've got the attributes here. Changes the scale to 404, minus 45, and the fuzz to 0 0.2. And then we need to add a ramp here for the for the tone mapping. So a ramp RGB. Might need to update the render for that to take effect. So update the full scene. So now we can start to see the half tone. If it's too dark, can always adjust the ramp so it can lighten up the uh, the black. So we're just getting the effect in the shadows here. We bring the white down even more so we can see it subtle. So we just get a subtle uh, amount. Go back to the tune shader, and here we've got the base tone map hue saturation. We want to add. Uh, I'm going to add a color correct first so that we can tweak the colors afterwards and then in the input of the color correct just add an on image shader there okay so i've got a color palette image here that i'm going to use to map the colors which will enable us to map the two shaders to uh, response to the color lighting if we go to the uv coordinates just change the wrap uv to clamp so if we offset the u we can change the hue values and we can increase the saturation by setting the, the V. You can always flip these values as well, if you want to experiment with uh, different um, values, hue, hue saturation values, quite do that quite easily here, or just control drag in the uh, offset U and V. And then if you go back to the color correct, you can also do that through the hue shift, so quite quickly and easily. Uh, pick some colors that we like, maybe 
desaturate them slightly. Okay, then finally I'm just going to add some the silhouette, so enable silhouette, change the color to match the skin, so maybe just a darker version of the skin. And then just to break up the silhouette with scale, we can add a cell noise shader to the with scale. Add color to the silhouette scale. Change it to whirly. Increase the scale. And increase the amplitude just to make it a bit thicker. Maybe something like that. Okay, so I've just connected the base tone map view saturation. I'm going to use the specular tone map view saturation. I've got a ramp going into the uh, tone map here. So again, just create a color correct like we did before. And into that, an Arnold, an Arnold image shader. And then we'll open up this tone map here, which is an exaggerated version of the sharp transitions between the red and the blue tones. And then if we increase the specular weight and increase the roughness, something like 0.8. Go to the image and make sure the wrap UV I set to clamp. Uh, I can enable flip V and can also offset that as well. Go back to the color correct, we can also adjust the hue shift to get something a bit more interesting. Okay, so that's how to use the two shaders, space and specular tone map hue saturation. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.